So welcome back NCEA Level 1 Earth Space Scientists and Physicists. Today we're looking at heat transfer again. Uh, last lesson we looked at conduction. Today we're going to look at convection. So convection is essentially the heat transfer in fluids. And what we mean by fluids is liquids and gases. Okay, so it's basically the movement of uh, energy, heat energy from warmer, less dense regions to colder, more dense regions of fluids and gases. It doesn't occur in solids, and it also doesn't occur in vacuums. So it also creates, because of this, convection currents. Okay, so when particles are heated, they move up quickly, they move quickly to take up the spaces around them, and therefore hot fluids are less dense than colder fluids. Therefore, the hotter fluids rise up, okay, go up, just like in the hot air balloons, uh, to the top of colder fluids. And this creates something called a convection current, and it's the path of the rising hot fluids uh, and the sinking denser cold fluids, because denser objects are heavier. So we also see this in water, which of course is a fluid. Okay, so if you put potassium permanganate crystals at the bottom of a beaker, and then slowly heat that beaker up with a Bunsen burner, you will see that the potassium permanganate uh, dye or crystals uh, basically rise with the warm water from the bottom of the beaker. And then as the water cools down at the top, they begin to fall down again to the bottom of the flask where they get heated again and the cycle begins yet again. So you also see this uh, in the heating of our rooms with hot radiators. So you've got the cold air, which is denser at the bottom. It hits the hot radiator, which gently warms it. That warm air begins to rise, hits the roof. And because it's now getting further away from the radiator, it's becoming colder, begins to drop and falls to the floor. And the cycle begins again. It's all about cycles. And for more practical applications, you've also got an engines. Okay, that's how water sorting system works in an engine. So basically, as the engine uh, runs, it heats the cold water, which then rises to the top of the engine. This hot water is then pumped to the top of the radiator, which gets cooled down by the fan in the front of the car. And that cools down the water, and it drops to the bottom of the engine again. And the cycle begins again. It's a theme. It's all about cycles. Um, and in terms of the atmosphere, you see this with the idea of thermals. So it's the heated air. Uh, when you heat the air inside a hot air balloon, that causes it to rise. Okay, and it's the same thing that uh, causes, uh, as the, the land rises, uh, heats up during the day, uh, the hot air from the land goes up into the atmosphere and provides gliders with lift, and also birds with lift to allow them to fly. And we saw this in our internal as well, our previous internal, with our sea and land breezes. Okay, so during the, the day, uh, the land uh, begins to warm compared to the colder sea. And um, we'll also re, uh, learn more of why it takes a lot more energy to heat the sea later. And that means a sea breeze consists of the cooler air of the ocean being replaced by the heated air from the land. Okay, so the sea breeze pulls into the land, whereas at night the system uh, goes in the opposite direction. Uh, the sea is often warmer from the land, and we'll explain the reasons why later in a later lesson. And now air flows uh, towards the sea, and this is called a land breeze, which happens at night time. Okay, so that, in a nutshell, in a summary, is what heat transfer is by convection.